Welcome to the Superhero Lifestyle Podcast, where I, Stephen Summers, sit down with my business partner, Robert Rickey, and we talk about how to become successful online. We also talk about how to sell your own branded products globally and so much more. These are the exact conversations that we have all time about how to become more successful in business and in life. So I hope you enjoy and make sure to check us out on MarketplaceSuperheroes.com if you're not already a member. Let's go. Welcome back, everybody. Today, we have another case study. Two really cool people, probably two of the best looking people we've ever had. <laughs> Arun and Maya, you're both very welcome. Hi. Hi, Hello. Steven. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. It's great to have both of you here. Let us know where are you guys coming in from? I always like asking that question now. So we both live in uh, West London area, not yep. too far from Heathrow. Fantastic. Yes, it is. And how are you finding the current situation that we're in? It's, uh, we've just literally been talking about it. It's been a crazy year for us, actually. Um, although a lot of people may seem it's a bit of doom and gloom, but for us, it's given us a lot of opportunities yeah. and we've done really well from it. What do you think? Yeah, I think we've done so much and we focus on, yeah, on our new business and mm -hmm. also, um, I think, on self-development. So, yeah. yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah, we took the, or the, yeah. uh, the opportunity. It's been, good, it's been a good year, but a weird year then. Huh? It's, exactly. yeah. <laughs> it's definitely been well, weird. Well, well, that's what we're here to talk about. So obviously, you know, you launched your Amazon business this year. We're here to talk about it. So tell me, what was the background behind two people like yourselves in West London? Never <laughs> thought about selling on Amazon. Where did the idea come from? And maybe who did it come from? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I've always told Maya that I've always wanted to start an online business especially with Amazon. And it's funny because um, you may know that I used to work with Ali. So he used to be coming into work with his laptop, telling me about his products and things like that. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. We always used to have interesting conversations. Wow. And then I went on a three month backpacking trip and I said to him, when I come back, I'm gonna be more serious about this. We'll talk more. Yeah. And all he did was told me, he goes, why don't you just do the course? You'll see, you'll see the benefits from doing the course. Yeah. And at that time, I was thinking, oh, can I invest in this much money? Um, yeah. I'm, I'm only working part time. So it's something I had to think about quite seriously. And then I looked into it and I thought, you know, I'm, if I want to reach my goals, then yes, I have to invest in this money. And uh, we both thought about it and we said, hey, why don't we just split it 50-50, let's go in. And that's, that's when we literally during lockdown is when we started. Yeah. Wow. And also because we have our plans and our goals in, in life. So yeah. like we knew that if we want to achieve it, we'll have to work whenever we will be in the world. So yeah. yeah. Um, and so the kind of location freedom is, is a big thing for you guys. Oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah. We, we both love traveling and we wanted that passive income so that wherever we are in the world, we can make that income to yeah support ourselves yeah that's cool nice one and why do you think like you'd like to travel around or would you would you guys like to live in a specific place and do this business or any i know we can't go anywhere at the moment so it's good to talk about where we could go <laughs> <laughs> yeah so um when Aaron went back well we actually went together um but then um i came back to london a little bit earlier and then he went to bali and he fell in love so yeah. he's always telling me that once we 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 good with the business. He will take me to Bali for a um, few months, and we will live there. So I think this is our first place where we will yeah. go. What a nice guy! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's all well, coming from the business well, expenses, by the yeah. way. <laughs> <I> know, <yeah. laughs> Turned into an expensive trip. Although Bali is great for a lot of entrepreneurs live there. I actually. I did an interview years ago with a guy and he lives in Bali, a guy called Derek Loudermilk. So there you go. So yeah. anyone wants to search the internet archives, I'm sure you'll find it somewhere. But anyway, uh, so this is the idea you uh, heard from Ali, who of course is on our team now and one of our head coach, one of our main coaches now. It sounded like a good idea. You joined the course, both of you did, which is great. So what did the process look like of actually starting up? Like, did it take you a while to get used to finding products? Was it really hard, easy? How did, how did that go for you? I think as soon as we started the course, we sort of had a plan. And the plan really was, was to follow your instructions and Robert's instructions on just taking each step as it comes and making sure that we take action with each step. Yeah. And um, because we were, had a lot of time during lockdown, we literally spent a good 10 to 12 yeah. hours 
each day wow. watching the videos or doing some sort of research and we, yeah, we, we had like our notebooks out our pens and we just had a, a plan for the whole week what we're going to do and what each day looked like for us so that that so it was really well time well invested then for both of you like while you were uh, i suppose like whatever on furlough or something like that or you were part-time or were you working at all during the time or no well i was on fellow by the time you're furloughed yeah mm-hmm. yeah and um yeah that's why i had yeah i had lots of time because i work um full time but at this okay. time yeah mm-hmm. i was off from work so it did was, you, yeah. did, did you get that sense, Maya, of like, because I think a lot of people got the sense whenever they were furloughed and they were in this time and they were in lockdown, that sense of like, you know, um, I might as well build something for myself because this could happen again or something like that. What, what way did you think about it? Yeah, I think um, because of um, a lot of people had lots of time to think, also myself, um, mm-hmm. and um, you can really see how your life look like at the moment. And you know that you cannot rely on your job because you never know what, what will happen in the future, right? And it makes, yeah, it makes me also feel like if we have our um, online business or e-commerce, I think if we, if we were in the same situation in the future, like we would be more comfortable and we wouldn't mm. be that stressed as yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think a lot of people okay. were. Yeah. yeah. At the beginning of lockdown, yeah. And and I've, and also Maya had mentioned um in terms of like um the business perspective, like being a business owner or an entrepreneur, having um taken decisions yourself, looking after your own business. Yeah. I think you enjoy that really. Yeah. And uh, you know, you know, she was telling me how like she would like to even reduce time at work or even leave work to concentrate sure. on, on this business. Yeah. yeah well, that's yeah. great. Well, I think a lot of people are gonna be wondering, you know, um, how many products did you order? How did that go? Stuff like that. So maybe we could talk through that, whoever wants to take that. Um, so we went through um, the course and we had a list in the forest product uh, gauntlet. And I think we had maybe like a good couple of hundred products in there. Um, and then yeah. we tried to narrow it down. The first product that we actually went with wasn't necessarily on our radar. I don't, I don't think it was. It was something that we had like jot, jot down our notebook but we didn't pay too much attention to it. We had um, our eyes on other products. Yeah. But um, when it came down to looking at that product again, we looked at the numbers and, and we saw like, actually this looked really good. Mm-hmm. It's such a boring product. But yeah. looked, <laughs> the numbers look really good. So um, we, yeah, we persisted in, in terms of finding out more information, um, doing more research in the market, finding a gap, talking to suppliers, see if the profit works. And uh, then, yeah, we, we invested our money in that. And, and the good thing is because it's, um, it, it wasn't too costly as well. I think our initial investment in the stocks was uh, less than 600 pound. Oh, brilliant. It was, it was perfect for us in that, in when we started, yeah. Okay, cool. So it's, how long did it take you to order the product from the time you started the course? Probably not very long then, or was it, was it long? So uh, we started the course around April time and yeah. I think we actually placed our order in June, beginning of the really good. Kids. Because a lot of people that I speak to on these case studies, as I'm sure you guys know, it's always like sometimes took me a year, took me six months, yeah. to courage, but you guys just went for it, which I think is really um, impressive as well, considering, you know, maybe there was a furlough situation or a part-time work situation. Mm-hmm. A lot of times people, they shrink in that at that time. You guys went the other way, which I think is great. And that says a lot about your character as well, you know? So that's, yeah. that's great. I think we kind of knew that we will we will take this business seriously. So mm-hmm. once we sign up for the course, mm-hmm. we knew that once we go through all the process, once we found the product, we'll just go for it straight away. We will not like wait for anything. Oh, yeah. For sure. Yeah. And and also we had a, a goal. We we wrote down yeah. that we, we would have at least five SKUs or, or products for within the first year. And mm-hmm. yeah, we've managed to do that within six months. So yeah, yeah wow. we did take That's- it seriously. <laughs> That's great. And I know um, we obviously you had that really, really ins- inspiring post in your first few days. It was like sales come in and I was like, this is yeah. really cool. I love seeing this. Like, so how did that continue? Did the sales totally dry up? Are you still selling? What's going on? What happened? Tell me about it. Well, you can, you can talk about this. <laughs> yeah. So we, we actually didn't know. We, we, had, a, um, we had a feeling that our pro- first product will be sold maybe in second day or third day. But it's been sold after a few hours once it's been launched in Amazon. Mm -hmm. We had like quite a few sales every day 
Yeah. And then there was a day when um, we actually managed to to sell, I think like, well, it, it was around 20 maybe. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. The first, I think even in the first week, there was one day, I think it was like 17 or something. Yeah. Like that. So <laughs> the first week, yeah, it went around like four sales. Um, the first day, four sales, second day, wow. jumped up to 10, then 16. And then yeah. it sort of averaged around 10 to 15. And then even the second week, our highest was 21, I think it was sales. Wow. So, I mean, it's sold out in there. Oh, yeah, it sold yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've Within placed, a month. Yeah, yeah, we've, we've placed wow. um, a new order on the third of fourth day. Right? Third or fourth day, yeah. We placed oh, and again, that's awesome. You guys did that, you know, you're really listening. That's yeah. cool. we, we, we knew we were going to run out of stock <laughs> yeah. just, just looking at that sort of trajectory. And we thought, like, we know it's going to take some time getting the stock in. Let's order it now. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we, we just we wanted to take action again, you know, making <laughs> sure. That's great. And so even in that first few days, I think that the total sales were like 600, 700 pounds almost, which is again for our US uh, watch viewers, listeners, maybe $800. So obviously then that product, I think you had 250 odd units or something like that, if I remember correctly. That's right. Yes. Yeah. Um, so uh, what was the sales, was sales price on that? So we the, we initially started off with £11.95. Okay. And, so. and we wanted to just... Um, play around with it and we, we put it up to one pound extra. So £12.95 um, after the $15 for everybody watching again. That's right. Yeah. Around $15. It's, it's, I like it. Though. We love having multi-currencies here. We love it. <laughs> so about so $15. So that's great. So you sold about your 250 of them within, you know, a very short period of time. So certainly in your first month, you were well over the thousand dollars in revenue uh, anyway, like I mean, well over that. Right. That's, that's right. Yeah. I think our revenue was, uh, over three thousand pounds so maybe like four thousand wow. so like dollars. maybe five grand your first month ish yeah. so that's really it's a great start <laughs> <It's> a, <laughs> we, we, we wasn't expecting it yeah we, we oh no i mean you, never, you don't know though right so so obviously that gives you a lot of confidence then you're like yes we're we know what we're doing we're picking good products so the other items then that you've ordered have they come into stock yet or are they just kind of coming in now because i know you you probably only placed the order for them as the months have gone on is that right that's right. So we'll, when we place the order, um, because it's such a be um, busy period as well, yeah. it's taking some time for production. Um, however, it was shipped or is it's in a process of being shipped right now. Um, so it was sent to the Ningbo warehouse last week. Right. So hopefully it'll be loaded up in a container soon. And um, it's actually good timing for us because while that is coming in, we're still working on our second and third product. Yeah. And uh, that should be arriving in the u.s warehouse uh this week so yeah, we can brilliant. concentrate on, on on those products as well that's great and then that that first item again because i'm always trying to think about the everyone has all these questions and they sometimes sure. ask them in the comments and i try to ask them now so so with the people have to wonder but did you only sell the first product on the uk slash european platform or did you sell in the u.s as well so that was actually in the UK and European platform. Yeah, I thought so, that was the case. So that's just for some people wonder that, you know, did you launch yeah. in all the markets straight away or whatever? So obviously that's another opportunity to launch into more markets, even with that item and expand that as, as time goes. Cause obviously it's going to take a little bit of time to get back at the stock again, but yeah, you're placing, you're placing a heavier order now. I'm sure for that, we had to place a much heavier order. Oh, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. We, we had to look at the, um, cause we, we wasn't, sure about the fulfillment fee that amazon was going to charge in, in terms of the efn yeah, price yeah. from the uk to european but we realized it, it was quite um quite a bit so we increased the price accordingly to, to the to the euros and we thought that would slow down the sales but actually it carried on so we were surprised how how well it was doing considering yeah. we increased the price well, that's cool yeah so and, sometimes what we do with that is we don't we don't touch the price. We just let it work. And we think, well, on the first order, we're just getting data. But I mean, it's fine what you did. There's no problem at all. But that's great that it continued to sell, even with a price increase. That's great. Yeah. And uh, what we realized when we downloaded the report that um, at least 21% of our sales actually came from European countries. Oh, cool. so, so there you go. So yeah. We know, yeah we'll have, it's starting off quite well. A quarter of our sales is, yeah. is there. So it's good. Yeah. Very good. And did you re did you research the product in the UK at the time, or what did you do? Or did you find it on the UK platform? Yeah, we did the research on the UK platform. Yeah. But then um, we've checked the other markets, and we thought, well, we don't really know how the other markets do, but we just 
we'll give it's it translated. Yeah. See? Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. We did all this translation for every single country in like where mm. Amazon is in Europe. Um mm. and then yeah, like it's yeah, it sold quite well in the other countries as well. I mean, that's great because, I mean, you, you take everything you guys are doing. Obviously, not every product performs at the exact same level. But, I mean, you guys could be well on the way to doing over 10 grand a month in revenue. Um, so that's really, really good for a, a new business like this. Really impressive. And, obviously, people like yourselves, we love to support you. So, you know, as time goes on, if you guys get stuck, you know, we're always here to help you, especially fund some of those winning items because at the end of the day, like that's what it's all about, seeing people like you guys succeed and do well. And for everybody watching, I'm no doubt everybody's been very inspired. And so I think one of the last questions I'd like to ask you would be, what's some of your advice you give to people who are on the fence? You know, they're not pulling the trigger on their products or maybe they're, they haven't pulled the trigger on joining the program. They're not sure. They're second guessing themselves all the time. What would you say to someone like that to help them, you know, pull the trigger, move forward a little bit? It's like, I know you and Robert talk about mindset quite a lot. So mm. it's about having the right attitude and the right mindset. When it comes to money, a lot of people are really um, emotional about money. <laughs> and and even though, even for myself, I, I've, in the past, I was quite emotional about it, especially, you know, being part-time, I have to be, be careful. Um sure. But when it comes to business, I've viewed our business a bit more of a game, really. Yeah. Like, like I'm just playing in a sense. And the way I can like sort of illustrate it is like, I know like you're a big fan of FIFA, for example, playing right. football, <laughs> yeah, football games. I, I'm the same. And it's in the same way. Like if you're launching a product, it might be compared to a game, for example. Absolutely. You, you might get setbacks. You might have your team score goals. You know, you might concede two goals and then you have to think, oh, how am I going to come around? How am I going to win this game? Love so that. you might want to add, uh, you know, get some substitution on. You might want to change your formation. So these are solutions to uh, setbacks or problems that you would have. Love that. But even if you lose that game, you still got the whole season ahead of you. Exactly. So even if your product is failing or failed the first time, you still got the rest of the season to catch up so i i, I look at it in in, a, in that way in, in the game uh, well i'll tell you what i think you'll be taking my job here soon <laughs> <laughs> fantastic i love that that's a great analogy it's so true i often talk about we um, maybe heard us talk about this before like the championship manager school of business yeah. Yeah. and it is that you know it's the same thing it's like you're getting the product scene getting all those things going and i love that i think it's a really healthy attitude and as well what it says is that when you're in the game, you changes can be made. Whereas if you're not in the game, you can't make any changes. So I think it's a perfect analogy, perfect way to wrap up today's interview. I'd like to thank both of you for coming on. And it was a really fun interview. Uh, I think you guys were incredibly transparent, which a lot of people will really appreciate. And I look forward to seeing your business doing 10, 20, you know, 50 grand a month and beyond because two people like you, there's no doubt you're going to do that. So thanks a million again. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you very much. For and um, we appreciate the, all the support that the members have given us, like right. sincerely from our hearts, like if it wasn't for the help that the members, even inspirational posts, like yeah. it, we wouldn't be like where we are. And we like to share the same. We would like to give back, help other members as well, because if we can do it, literally anyone can do it. I love it. Thanks a million, guys. You've been great. Mm -hmm.